my sisters went to a matchmaker and found a date for my mom. I'm really excited about my mom dating again, and it's been almost 10 years. I mean, she's only dated one person, my dad, pretty much, so I think this is a good thing. This could be great. I wanted the inside scoop, so I told mommy, I'll take you to your date. Can we be girls? Can we pretend to be girlfriends a little okay. bit? Okay, let's be girlfriends. Okay, so if a perfect guy called you right now, what would you want him to do? You be? said a perfect guy? A perfect guy. Well, not perfect, like God perfect. Can we focus? I, I like tall guys. Well, so he wouldn't be short, he would be tall. I don't like roughnecks. Oh, I, I wouldn't think you would like a roughneck, Mom. But they, they out there. You get a certain age, let's face it, um, your options, they're not that great. But at the same token, you have to be selected. You want a guy that's fun. I mean, maybe you can make him fun. Maybe he's not fun at first, but you can make him fun. Guys my age, if they're not super fun, when you come into it, they're not going to change. Okay, okay. I hear you. Trust me. All right. And financially? Stable. Financially st stable. It could be a person who works as a car wash. You car washing wash. cars, you're not financially stable. You're not making money. Somebody that's successful. Okay, financially, financially successful. successful. Okay. My mom's taste in men, I'm discovering, is very eclectic. Oh, I'm sorry, and she wants him to walk like Denzel Washington. I don't know where we're going to find this guy. Oh. Well, suppose he's like all those things and he's just not cute. He's challenged in that. Well, then what do you say? I'll get to know him because I'm not having any kids from him. There you go. You see what I mean? Okay. So that's one that you were willing to give on. Yeah, I see. I'll give on that Okay. One. No giving on the financial stability. Oh, God, no. So I dropped off my mom and her date, and I hope it goes well. My fingers crossed. He was late. I don't like late men either. You have to be on time. So I was getting a little restless, and I was sitting there, and I'm waiting, and I'm waiting, and I'm looking at my watch, and I'm looking out of the window. I don't know who I'm looking for, but I hope this man have on a suit, because I don't like roughnecks. There was a guy that walked in, hip-hop guy. He was not dressed appropriately, so I'm thinking, oh my God, please don't let that be this man. Are you Mrs. Jones? Miss Jones? I was looking Ms. for Miss Jones, yes. No, I'm not Miss Jones. Not Miss Jones. Thank God I'm not Jones. Oh, wow. I'm gonna give it 10 minutes. Are you Evelyn? Yes. Hi, my Hi. Dolly. Oh, aren't you uh, looking sharp this evening? Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm Jay. Hi, how are you, Jay? Nice to meet you. He was a snowflake. I've always dealt in chocolate. Yeah, you have a family? I do. I, I do. do. Now, Five girls and one son. My girls are entertainers. Really? Yeah. What's your last name? Braxton. Not Braxton. Tony Braxton? No. Are you kidding me? You've got all of these girls. You imagine this is like the Kardashians. No. No. We're the Braxtons. The Braxtons. Braxtons? Kardashians? We're not getting off to a good start here. Um, I'll have water and a Diet Coke. I want uh, scotch on the rocks. It's 1 p.m. Hmm. It's a little too early for scotch. No wine or champagne or anything like that? No. You know, at our age in life, uh, we need new experiences, right? We do. <laughs> Are you game for new experiences? I am game. Good. Good. You sound like a lady who has fun. Yeah. Huh. Let's see how much fun the snowflakes have to offer. So, I'm out on a blind date that my daughter set up, and he's a snowflake, and he loves scotch. So, uh, are we going to have some fun or what? He seems to have a very specific idea of how to have fun. I need that to settle me down. I, really? You know, I, I, he kept I, drinking and drinking and drinking, and he was saying, mm, that's smooth. Mm -hmm. So I got a little bothered about that. How about drinking too much, am I? No, do what mm -hmm. you need, do what you do. Oh. He said, do you mind if I 
have another drink? I said, oh, no, go ahead. Do what you do, you know, but actually, I mind. Oh, the, uh, the, the finger snap, huh? Okay, I don't know if this date can get much worse. I really like that hair. I, uh... I miss being, uh, you know, with a lady. And you are just too much. I just met him, for God's sakes. Tell you what, let's do. What should I'll, we do? Let's run down over there to the uh, the Biltmore. He wanted to go to see some sites at, in North Carolina, and I'm thinking, okay, for a day. That's a day trip, right? It gets dark, so I can't promise it'll be a day trip. But sometimes you just. You can't, uh, you have to stay, you know what I'm talking about? Mm-mm. And the girl said, uh -uh. wrong girl. Absolutely not. Uh -uh. No, I, I know we are older, and I know life is short, but life is not that short. Blind date, I was, I was up for it, right? But it always makes you a little anxious, don't you think? Yeah, especially when you're late. Well, I think this date is winding down, but how is he going to get home? Do you drive? Only when I have to, I'm going to have somebody pick me up. Oh. Uh -huh. He has a driver. Okay, so that means he, he's financially stable. That kind of changes the flavor of the date. You know what I mean? We're having fun, right? I hope. I hope you're having fun. Yeah, me. I hope, I hope you're having fun also. <laughs> and when it was over, we exchanged numbers. Well, I gave him my number so he could call me. I think he probably will give me a call. Uh, I think he was impressed. <laughs> yeah, you're okay. I know that's right. Oh, and so know. are you, kiddo. <laughs> I'm finding out that playing in the snow is not so bad. Who knows? I may catch a snowman. <laughs> I decided to...